So I'm going to list some thoughts about what causes a prodigal to become a prodigal. You ready? Number one, sin. Got to start out with sin. In fact, it's all sin. Let's not tiptoe around sin. Let's call a spade a spade, shall we? Anything that causes you and me to become separated from the Father's house and His love is sin. Number one cause of prodigalism, sin. You're sinning. Number two, friends. Bad company. The influence of other people is a very significant factor in the life of prodigals. The influence of bad friends. I've said many times, and you've heard it said, be very careful about the company you keep. So if you were to, if I was examining my own heart when I was a teenager, when I really became a prodigal, I, I have to include that in my list. Because I, I hung around with some pretty rough customers. And I became a pretty rough customer. Friends. Company. Number three. Churches. It, it really hurt me to put that in there. But do you know that churches can cause some people to become prodigals or can be a contributing factor? Attitude in churches. Let's just, can we just be honest? Because in churches, you can find some very self-righteous people. People who look down their noses at anybody else and can make other people feel very uncomfortable because of the way they dress or something they said or didn't do or, you know, they talked at the wrong time or they sat down too slowly or They ran down the corridor, and the Lord knows you don't run down the corridor in church. (laughs) And they brought their cup of coffee into the wrong place. Folks, you understand what I'm saying. You know, you and I might say, well, I'm just telling you churches. See, I, I... I'm sorry to say this, but very much in mine. I'm, I'm a preacher's kid. <laughs> Do I need to say anything else? Man, I can still see some of those people. They just had an attitude all the time. All right, here's the next one. Number four. Parents. Parents can be a major contributing factor to a prodigal becoming a prodigal. That's you. You know what the Bible says, don't you? Fathers, do not provoke your children. So moms and dads, you know, I think we've got to just accept the fact that there are things that we do as parents that are not always the best thing.
And you know, there are, there are actions and activities that we do. You know, there are parents who go out and spend a lot of time drinking and getting drunk, and then they have a real problem understanding why their kids at the age of 13 start doing the same thing. You know, attitudes, critical spirits. I mean, we could go on. That's not my purpose, but could we agree today that when we try to study what Jesus said about coming home, we're not just throwing up our hands and saying to a person who has left home, oh, get a life and come back. These things are very real, folks. They're very real. Prodigals are people most likely who themselves are experiencing great pain. They're just handling it in the wrong way. And their pain is getting worse. The lure of the world. Number five, the lure of the world. World is very attractive. You know, it's, it's hard not to look at the world and want some. We watch all the time television, ball games. We watch how people behave and how people succeed and how people make money and where people go. Popularity, the desire for popularity. Can you understand that? to be accepted, the desire to be accepted. Well, in order for me to be accepted, you know, I'm going to go and do this, 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 and this. Then, therefore, I'm accepted. It's the lure, it's the pull of the world. If I get into this, or if I go to that, or if I take part in this, or if I eat that, or smoke this, or drink this, then I'm going to be on the in crowd, the lure of the world. It, it's, a, it's a tough deal. And the world out there has got an, a lot out there that has a lot of glitter to it. You know, you can, you know, who doesn't want to make a lot of money? Who doesn't want to be popular? Who doesn't want to be invited to all the happening events? Who doesn't want to be on the stage? Who doesn't want to succeed? You've got to ask all those questions. They're not just figments of our imagination. They're very real, the lure of the world. It's jolly tough, folks, to live in a manner that's pleasing to the love of the Father. A, a, lot of, a lot of young people today, I mean, they find it so restrictive. They, the older someone gets, you get into those teenage years, and, and mom and dad are still saying, well, you know, you need to be in at this time, and no, no, we don't want you to go there, and, 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 and there's, a, there's the lure of the world. I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm, and, they, and slowly it begins to build up, and eventually that person starts sneaking out and, and starts going here and starts doing that, and one thing begins to lead to another. Sometimes it begins just very small, the lure of the world. 